CCTV Camera World is proud to provide support for products purchased from our website. If you purchased your product from another vendor, please contact the vendor you purchased from for further assistance. In this video, we have a router on the left and one of our NVRs on the right. For this video, we're going to demonstrate how to properly plug them in. On the NVR, you have one port specifically designated as the LAN port. It is separate from your video ports. And on the left, on your router, you have the internet port already plugged in, as we show with the blue cable. And now we're going to show you how to connect them to the LAN ports. Take your wire, like so. Plug one in into your NVR, and the other one into your router. And you have successfully connected your recorder to your router. In this video, I'm going to show you how to set your recorder to automatically get an IP address from your router. Now, this presumes you've already set up your router to connect to your NVR with an Ethernet cable. So first, we're going to right-click. We're going to go to Main Menu. It's going to ask us to log in, either using the graphical password or by typing our password in. Then down here in the bottom, under Management, we'll see Network. So we're going to go to Network. This automatically brings us to the TCP IP page. If you're not already on this page, you want to select it at the top on the left-hand side here. Here we can see we have our Ethernet port 1, and we have an IP address here. Now we're going to go to ahead and click Edit on this Ethernet port. It's extremely important to recognize that if you do not successfully set up the DHCP option here, that your NVR or DVR will never receive an IP address and then will never allow you to connect using the P2P method in the following videos of this guide. So make sure that you enable the DHCP option as outlined in these following steps. And then we're going to enable the DHCP. When this is blue, it means it's enabled. When it's gray, it's disabled. This DHCP setting will automatically obtain an IP address from your router. We're going to click OK. As you can see, we have yet to restart our NVR, so it gives it an IP address of 0.0.0.0. .0. Now, to reboot our NVR so it gets an IP address, we're going to go to the top right-hand side of our screen. We're going to click this middle icon. It's going to give us a few options here, log out, reboot, and shutdown, and we want to reboot. So we're going to go ahead and reboot and continue this video after our NVR has rebooted. Now that our NVR has rebooted, we can go ahead and check to see if it actually got an IP address from our router. So first we're going to right click, go to main menu, it's going to ask us to log in again, and then, now that we're back in here, we're going to go back under management and network, back to the TCP slash IP page. As you can see, we get an IP address here of 1.82. Now keep in mind if you have an IP address of 0, .0, 0.0.0.0 after the reboot and after enabling the DHCP, then that means that you may not be getting activity from your router. In order to check on this, you'll need to check on the lights for your Ethernet port on the back of the NVR, as shown in this photo overlaid on top of the video. If you don't have lights on your network port, then the NVR or DVR will never be able to get an IP address from your router. Make sure that you check the cable and check the connectors on both ends to make sure they're properly and securely connected. Hopefully this video helps. Thank you for watching. Now what you want to do is right click and go to main menu. Once you're in there, go to network. Once you're there, you want to enable P2P. In some DVRs, it may have a different wording here on the left. It may say easy for IP or something, but you want to click here. You want to enable this. Right now, I have it enabled, and it says online. For this to show the online message, the DVR or the NVR already needs to be connected to the router, and you have to have completed the DHCP step that I just showed you before. Now I just disabled it. In your case, it may look like this if you don't already have it enabled.
Let me show you that again. Right click, main menu, bottom, network, P2P. In your case, yours will look like this. It says offline. You want to enable and hit apply and wait for it to say online. It'll say online only if you have connected the recorder to your router and also enable the DHCP that we showed you before. If it doesn't say online for you, all you need to do is hit back, come back to it, go back to PTP, and it'll say online. Once you've got to this point, it says online, you're, you're gotten almost to the point where we need you to. For us to help you out now, what you need to do is take a picture of the screen, and we want a good, clear picture of this. We need to see your serial number so we can remotely log in and help you with your recorder. Again, please send us a clear picture of this portion of the screen. Thank you. If you're watching on YouTube, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.